Hey guys, so just wanted to show you guys really quickly how you can access our online textbook in World Civilization. So you're going to open a new tab, you're going to go up here to the top, and you're going to type in Pearson Realize. And you will go to Pearson Realize, and then you are going to click Sign In. And this is a really important step. Don't put anything in here. You're going to use this Savas Easy Bridge. Um, Savas is a company they bought Pearson Realize, but it's a different name, but it's the same idea. So you're going to click this Savas Easy Bridge. Then this may not look like this on yours. Um, you have to, you might have to type in there. So you're going to start typing in Maryville Community School District. You'll click that. You'll click Go. And then it's going to ask you to choose a Google account. So instead of having a username and a password and you have to make it up, um, Savas EasyBridge makes it really easy. You just literally have to sign in with your school Google account. So you click that and then it logs in for you. Super simple. Now your screen might look different than mine because this is the teacher page. Um, but if you want to access, say, chapter one, section one or like today you're going to be doing a guided reading for chapter one section two so you will click this browse and it's going to bring up this and you're going to go up here to e-text you click the book you open a new window now this might take a while to load because it's going to open your textbook as it is a, like a, just like a physical textbook would be and so there are hundreds of pages that it's loading. So it might take a little while for this to load, but in the offhand chance that it doesn't work, you can always click it and try again. Now, this is verbatim, word for word, exactly as the physical textbook looks. So if you wanna to get to chapter one, section two, you'll go up here to menu, table of contents. It's gonna take a second for it to load. Then this is chapter one, section two. And this is chapter one, section two, just like it is in the textbook. And you just click next to change the page. And you just read it. Okay, and you can do it that way. You can also click this here. And it'll read to you. Okay, so that's cool. And then you can also go to here to annotation and highlights and you can actually click. You can drag over your text. You could underline it, you could circle it, you could highlight it, you can change the colors. Um, so this is really handy for when you are working on a guided reading, you could have it read to you. And then when you hear the answer, you could just highlight the area where it's at and you can click highlight save and it'll save it for you so then that way you can pause the recording and you can write down or type up the answer in your guided reading okay so i hope that was helpful if you guys have any questions or need any help just uh, send me an email or go back to our meeting and uh i'll see you guys thanks